Hey guys welcome to my channel Shabum Academy. In this video we are going to see what are breakwaters or what are tetrapods, so let's begin. Before starting I would like to suggest you to please make sure your subtitle slash cc is turned on for better understanding. A breakwater is a permanent structure constructed at a coastal area to protect against tides, currents, waves, and storm surges. Part of a coastal management system, breakwaters are installed to minimize erosion, and to protect anchorages, helping isolate vessels within them from marine hazards such as prop washes and wind-driven waves. Breakwater is the artificial protective barrier constructed to enclose harbors and to keep the harbor waters undisturbed by the effect of heavy and strong sea waves. Breakwater enables the use of the enclosed area as a safe anchorage for ships and facilitates cargo loading in comparatively calm waters. There are two basic types of breakwaters, rubble mound and vertical breakwaters. Rubble mound breakwaters are generally used in shallow water, whereas vertical breakwaters become more convenient in deeper water. A typical rubble mound breakwater consists of an armor layer of heavy rocks or Concrete units usually protecting a less permeable filter beneath and a core comprising smaller sized rocks, the mound can be submerged or extend above the sea level. When above sea level, the crest of the breakwater can be completed by a concrete crown wall, usually cast in situ. A vertical breakwater consists of a vertical structure of various designs resting on a rubble foundation. Composite Breakwaters consist of a combination, either vertical or horizontal, of a rubble mound and a vertical superstructure. A tetrapod is a form of wave dissipating concrete block used to prevent erosion caused by weather and longshore drift, primarily to enforce coastal structures such as seawalls and breakwaters. Tetrapods are made of concrete, and use a tetrahedral shape to dissipate the force of incoming waves by allowing water to flow around rather than against them, and to reduce displacement by interlocking. Tetrapod, in Greek means four-legged. If you observe a tetrapod you will see four legs protruding from a middle structure just like a starfish. These four-legged tetrapods are nothing but concrete-made structures used to prevent coastal erosion. The name has become so famous that now even the three-legged concrete structures are also known as tetrapods. The tetrapods are designed in such a way that they dissipate the force of incoming waves by making the water flow around rather than against them. They also reduce displacement by allowing the random distribution of tetrapods to mutually interlock. Due to their weight and design, tetrapods can remain stable even under the most extreme weather conditions. A number of tetrapods arranged together form an interlocking, porous barrier that dissipates the power of waves and currents. A tetrapod is one of the varieties of concrete armor units in existence around the world, all of which have been designed for similar purposes. The weights of the tetrapods vary worldwide in dependence of the prevailing local weather. Conditions Tetrapods are designed to protect the coast from wave action slash erosion and to reinforce coastal structures such as seawalls and breakwaters. Breakwaters are the structures constructed to enclose the harbors to protect them from the effect of wind-generated waves by reflecting and dissipating their force or energy. Such a construction makes it possible to use the area thus enclosed as a safe anchorage for ships and to facilitate loading and unloading of water by means of wave breakers. The unique tetrahedral shape of the tetrapod breaks the force of incoming waves by allowing water to flow around them and also reduces displacement through the interlocking. Due to their weight and design, tetrapods can remain stable even under the most extreme weather conditions. When arranged together in their hundreds, the tetrapods form an interlocking, porous barrier that dissipates the power of waves and currents. As we all know though, nothing that has been created by man so far can last forever against the fury of nature without maintenance and tetrapods are no exception. Due to the constant battering they receive, tetrapods or any of the other concrete armor units can become dislodged and need to be replaced after a prolonged period of time. Though tetrapods are helpful structures, they have also faced a lot of criticism mainly because of their shape. Many people argue that they pose a danger to swimmers, surfers, and boaters, 
while others say that tetrapods in fact accelerate beach erosion by disturbing the natural processes that shape the coastal environment. Even though tetrapods are widely criticized, the fact remains that they cannot be neglected. The main feature of a tetrapod lies in its design, which is not found in nature. Although tetrapods are artificial and may not be aesthetically pleasing to many eyes, in spite of all the criticism have been extremely helpful in numerous ways. So, in this video you might have learned about what are breakwaters, tetrapods or concrete armor units. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss new video updates.